Look, don't come for me. I don't know anything about Grateful Dead. Hey lovers, it's still February, so we're still doing love songs. Um, this one comes from Frank. He suggested we do Grateful Dead, they love each other as always because it seems like I have no musical taste. I don't know this song. I don't listen to a lot of Grateful Dead. And let me, I, I'm gonna fill you in right now on why I grew up listening. I grew up in a very conservative household where we listened to, to um, Christian music or country music. So like my musical knowledge is very, very small as I've grown. Um, and because I met my husband, I have like expanded some of that, but like honestly not by a lot. So all of your suggestions are so welcome. And I love listening to all of them because it's just like, it's just an experience that I, I get to experience with you guys. Um, listening to something I've never heard before. So I feel like this might be my first Grateful Dead song ever. And you can, you know, and it's funny because I really thought Grateful Dead was like heavy metal. And it appears that is not the case. Um, it's a really long song. This is They Love Each Other. It's a live version live at Barton Hall at Cornell University um, from 1977. So we're going to listen to it. Um, because it's so long, this might just be a reaction, but I might still just pause and talk about some of the lyrics here. Um, Unlike Steelheart, where I was just stunned the whole time, and it was just, I just, it was just, I have no words for that song still, so, like, y'all, hit, hit me up with some more of that, what do they call it, schlock rock? Like, love it. Okay, so here we go with They Love Each Other by The Grateful Dead. Okay, here we go. So, we have They Love Each Other live. Our I can only find live songs for Grateful Dead. Is there like a reason for that? Can you all help me out here? Um, I feel like this is, I don't know, this is a good one. It's Oklahoma City. So they love each other a lot. Here we go. like a folksy vibe i know they're like built as rock in you know at least what i saw online look don't come for me i don't know anything about grateful dead um but it sounds kind of folksy so they love each other talking about mary just running around sailing up and down what a fun life for mary hmm. is mary she made she made a connection with someone <laughs> this time around some other lines so like uh, we have a metaphor here i think it's like a train metaphor right she's and so i mean she okay sir is like a third person he could pass this time with someone else but like he chose her okay all right good for him he's got good taste i hope don't get in their way has someone tried who's about <laughs>
You know, it's funny because like I, when I, I was listening to you two and I was like surprised by some of these like long um, breaks, like musical instrument breaks, someone in the comments was like, well, they're a band. So, you know, they all kind of share in that spotlight. So you're going to get a lot of these like kind of um, musical breaks. And I was like, oh, you know, that makes sense. I don't really see a lot of bands these days that are like playing like music. It's like a solo artist. So um, it was a shift in my perspective. And I was like, oh, what? that's a, that's a good thought. You know, I, that's a good thought. I don't really know any like of today's like bands like this. diesel train um you don't want to be there when it rolls over like apparently their, their love is a force that we can reckon with here um and you can hear it though you'll make a noise just just can't hear your voice all the dizzy ride on your cold shoulder interesting <laughs> say it's true everything I did I heard it from you you was in the person the Mary the lady or her new lover like who is he a scorned lover watching a new relationship happen and he's like I tried to get in there and I get the cold shoulder it was a ride but now you know and I heard all this because you told me is that what he is that what's happening in the song is that what's happening all right at the fairgrounds arena in Oklahoma City and it kind of does remind me I used to BT BT dubs I used to actually uh be in 4-H and show um cattle at the fairgrounds and I just remember all of the shows at the fairgrounds it does have that like I don't know that vibe I can't explain it um but it does have that vibe but like what is can someone tell me I was I was paying attention but like I also couldn't hear exactly what he was saying like what 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 is happening is It, did someone get cheated on? Like, what is, what? Hold on. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna look up these lyrics really quick, so one second. Heard your news report. You know you're falling short. Pretty soon won't trust you for the weather. When that shit comes in, you won't know where it's been. You gotta try and see a little further. So, like, who, who, it sounded 
like we were talking about Mary and said person and they love each other and they're hanging out. They're doing life. No one wants to get in their way. There's a lot of metaphors here with like ships and trains and, and movement. Um, but then we're always saying like when that train rolls in, you won't know where it's been. So like, I feel like that's firsthand, right? They love each other. Hope you will believe what I say. It's true. Everything I did here, I heard it first from you. But then like at the end, We won't trust you for the weather. Damn. Like, we don't trust the weather, man. We're not going to trust you either or the weather. Like, okay. Someone is, like, bitter about something. Um, like, maybe a serial cheater? And they're going to continue to cheat on their new person? Like, what is happening? Um, hit me in the comments below if you have an explanation for this song. Just because it's so long, I just didn't want to stand and break down every single lyric. But, like, now I'm, like, thinking about it. And looking at it, trying to figure out, like, okay, is this a love song or is this a warning song? They love each other, but, like, it seems toxic to me. It seems like we have a love triangle. Do we have a love triangle? Mary run around. Okay, it's Mary. I mean, it could be Mary. Like, it could be a double entendre. Like, it could be, like, Mary. This is Mary isn't happy, but like Mary could be a name. Run around, sailing up and down. So we're like running, running around, sailing up and down. Looking for a shove in some direction. So I feel like it's like a listless person who is like trying to get somewhere, maybe socially, like a social climber. And they made a fine connection. They're like climbing. It's a social climber. They're going maybe? They love each other, but like they, she loves you. Maybe she or he loves you, but they're fickle until like the next thing happens. So like they're not trustworthy. Is that what is happening in this song? Okay, y'all, I'm sorry. I, I, I could speculate all day. So y'all hit me up with what you believe this to be about um, because I'm like, what? Um, definitely super different than... Um, what we listened to last time, huh? Um, all right, friends. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm once again flabbergasted because I, I'm like, what is happening? Um, okay, friends. Well, that is "They Love Each Other" by the Grateful Dead. Um, I will see you in the next one. Bye.